there's multiple reasons why Superman Rebirth really helped bring the character back into a good light. As a pretty big Superman fan, I was extremely let down by the new 52 run. Luckily, DC felt the same and they decided to bring Superman back to the forefront and make him what he is. Special, different, hopeful, everything that we love in Superman. And so I did a video a few months, actually probably a year ago, about why New 52 Superman failed, in my opinion. But I'm about to give you five reasons why Superman Rebirth really worked and helped bring the character back, for me at least. The way both Action Comics and the main Superman title gave us both good stories help push the character back into the spotlight to show why he's the most hopeful hero while also being one of the most powerful ones. Both Tumasi, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, and Jurgen decided to give us a family drama mixed with some mystery in Action Comics and the mentorship and family life with the main Superman title. This gave us multiple storylines at once and they really helped you get attached to the character whether you wanted him beating up bad guys who were super powerful or just getting some family drama which personally I love. Probably the biggest change for the character was giving him a family. Now Lois Lane at this point was his wife for a long time but it was John, his son, who really boosted up Clark as a character for me. It's one thing to be a superhero and just, you know, people reacting to that, but watching a man raise his child is, to me, one of the coolest, most interesting plot points you can give a character when it's not forced or just throwing a child just to grab a younger audience. But giving a father-like role model, like Clark, is really special. On top of that, John is a really fun character, and you also have Lois Lane, who's only not a wonderful mother, but a badass reporter too. Family is a very heavy theme here, even in Action Comics less so, but the main Superman title, it's throughout the entire series, and it just works so well. See, the main issue with New 52 Superman was that there were so many damn teams keep popping up. Different ones. Every, every like, six issues we had a new team. It was very bad. It was very annoying. Nobody stuck. It was just not consistent. Making it look like no one really knew how to write the character. And that is sad. Luckily, with Rebirth, we had Jurgen doing the action comics. Tomasi doing the main Superland, sorry, Superman title along with the excellent art from uh, Peter Gleason, Tyler Kirkham, and more. It was just, it was just knocking it out of the park repeatedly. It was so good. And then you had 20 plus issues with the same writer. So that means you got real meat to this character again because you had this one or two writers in this case really going deep into the psyche of Clark and Superman. And then after those 20 issues, you have Brian Bendis coming along. And whether you hate him or love him, me, I personally enjoyed his run. It was another writer who did, again, 20 plus issues on each title, and you're keeping a team more than 6 issues or 8 issues or 12 issues even, you have a lot more faith in the character and the writer and the artist to bring those characters and their vision to the table. And to me, that was a major difference between Action Comics and Superman, where I can honestly say there were like 4 or 5 writers in the same amount of time, in the same amount of volumes as this. That That's insane. <laughs> And so this is going to sound harsh, but listen, I didn't completely hate New 52 Clark. I think the more reckless and anger-driven character, being young and inexperienced, that could work. That could be fun. And I also like moments, especially when written by Johns or even the Morrison origin story. That, that worked for me for New 52. But he never, ever gave me the feeling of that he was this hero who's like, a father, ironically, to all of us. Uh, a protector. A person who gives us hope. It never felt like that for me for New 52. Never once did I read it and felt, wow, this Superman's going to save us. I, I felt more like this is a powerhouse character, but he's just a young dude who's just trying to be a hero. And I get that was the idea behind it, but again, there was five years into his career. By then, he should have like started formulating to being like the old Superman, but he wasn't. Um, so yeah, to me... 
this is this is the biggest problem with New 52, and they just dropped him. You know, he died, <laughs> and he kind of got his ending story in Superman Reborn, a little mini event. So you absorbed him into the the old Superman, making his brand new Superman. It worked for what it was trying to do to appease the New 52 fans. But I'm just glad that we kind of got rid of that Clark. We did not like him. Bye bye. <laughs> And this is one of my biggest, or if not biggest reason, is the fact that we had Clark with a family. And this is a huge change. It brings a new layer to the character. It helps flush both him out as a father and a superhero. This also helps set up Super Sons, which is another great series by having John and Damien, Batman's son, teaming up. Awesome series. That was another change to the entire universe. And then we had Lois back to being a badass reporter. And she becomes a huge part in the overall DC line and even has her own mini, which I didn't love, but I love the idea of her kind of being an actual important figure again in comics. I didn't feel like that at all in New 52, and so it was nice to see her come back. And even if you hate the fact that Bendis is aged up John, which I understand, okay, I, I personally don't mind it. Even though I love them as a kid, I kind of like the older John and having to take on responsibilities I get to in a second. But what he did for John is give him his own team with the Legion. And then, in the newest comics that just started when recording this, Clark is off-world now and John stays behind to take the Superman mantle, which to me feels really natural. And it's also really exciting and it's written by Tom Taylor, so you know you're expecting great things. I really love all these changes that actually feel significant versus stuff like him losing his powers didn't really it was just retrending the old ground of superman grounded and in new 52 and stuff like him coming out to the world that was cool except it was done in such a snarky and shitty way i really hated it here he came out to the world and people were like embracing him for the most part i really love all that stuff that to me worked really well so the changes to the character the mythos and the family changes and everything and even some of the new villains, all of that to me really worked. I was interested, and it's evolving. It never feels like Superman is stagnant again, which to me is great. I want Superman to keep going because I enjoy his character. And uh, yeah, I love the new changes to the character. So this is my biggest reason why I think Rebirth worked, and where New 52 just was retreading old ground and never did anything new, nothing special. To me, since Rebirth, we got Superman's popularity back up. We have new storylines that stuck. We have the teams that stayed for a while and gave it their all and an actual um, contributed to the overall character and the family dynamic is still there. It still works. That is important. And I really hope this trend continues as I'm really enjoying Superman as of late. I think the last few years, I've enjoyed all of it. And I know some people don't like the Bendis run, but I personally do. And I think it's even at Bendis' worst Superman, some of his action comics in the later half, are still better than the majority of New 52, save one or two stories, because God, New 52, go watch my video, you'll see why I have such distaste for that fucking run series, five years of horribleness, but really, Rebirth got Superman back on track, and even if you don't like Bendis' stuff, you should be excited for what's happening now, I haven't read uh, Phillips' new stuff, but I've read Taylor's, and it's great, and I think this is going to give Superman fans happiness again, so this is why I think Superman Rebirth really fixed, helped, shifted the character back into what he's supposed to be. A great hero who's like a father to us all, but now he gets to be an actual father, and that dynamic is awesome. Give me more of that. Thank you, Rebirth, for fixing Superman.